For those of you who've been watching some of my other videos, thank you and welcome back. If this is your first video, thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more content, um, please consider subscribing. In this video, I go over my spare tire mount and the snowboard carrier addition that I recently made. As with most of these projects, one of the primary goals for me has been to create more space inside the vehicle for carrying gear and also trying to do it in a budget friendly way. I don't know uh, how many of you have looked at these uh, spare tire carriers for the WK2, but they tend to run pretty high. So this was my solution. This is another project that I didn't start filming until I had already completed part of the project, so I apologize if not all of the details are here, but hopefully it'll give you a little bit of an idea of how I solved some of the problems so that you can do something similar yourself. So one of the big problems was license plate placement and the fact that legally the license plate has to be lit. Since my Jeep came with the towing package, I figured that would be the easiest way to wire it up. So I got a seven pin wiring harness off of Amazon and connected into the running lights. This way, when the headlights are on, the license plate lights will turn on as well. I wanted it to be a really clean install. So I ended up wiring through the piping itself. The trickiest part was feeding the wire from the lights through that first bar. There was already a little access hole at the end here, so I just drilled into the little plastic covering and that's where the wire fed through around the corner into this other little plastic access point. I found that an old bicycle brake cable helped to feed the wires through the easiest. I found these great little bolt-on license plate lights on Amazon, uh, which worked really well. Of course, since I couldn't access the back, I couldn't get the bolt-on, so I ended up just drilling a hole and threading it so that I could screw them in directly. I also placed a couple of nylon spacers in between so that they would stick out far enough um, so the light would reach the license plate well. So normally when I'm just driving around town I don't use this system. It's mainly for when I take trips. So I wanted an easy way to remove um, the license plate. So I ended up using these magnetic bars that you can attach to the license plate. That way, uh, it was easy to swap out. If I have it on or off, uh, I can just easily remove the license plate and stick it back on um, without having to undo any screws. For the tire mounting portion of it, I wanted it to sit as close to the vehicle as possible. So I purchased this tire carrier off of Amazon and uh, did some cutting and welding. And uh, this is what I came up with. So it actually faces back from the pivot arm, which allows it to sit nice and close. For the snowboard rack, I ended up using this Inno INA 951, which ended up being perfect uh, for what I needed. I needed something that could span the width of the tire, and I needed four of the enclosures, and uh, this fit the bill exactly. So it has this bar that allows you to uh, separate the two portions of it, as you can see in that small picture. So I ended up using that bar to actually attach to the tire rack. And then I actually used some of the screw holes that are already there that normally would attach the mounting brackets. And I put the vertical supports, uh, which you'll see in the finished product.
so this is the finished product. Um, sorry for the parts that are missing there. I didn't quite get it all on film. The vertical brackets are uh, just some brackets I found at the hardware store. And then the, the bolts that are um, holding them in are actually the bolts that came with the rack. Normally those bolts would be used to attach the, the brackets that would normally be used to attach to the cross rails on a roof rack. Um, so that actually worked out really well. I also ended up trimming some of the plastic off um, of these pieces right here because the plastic normally would fit into the mounting bracket which I'm not using so I just trimmed that off uh, which allowed the, the bracket to fit better. If you have any questions about any of the details or you want more information uh, please feel free to um, ask in the comments. I'm, I, I try to respond fairly quickly and uh, I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. So once I got it up there and actually mounted the snowboards, I ended up feeling pretty stupid. Uh, as you can see here, there is a flaw in the design. The positive part is how closely it sits to the Jeep, which I like. The problem with putting it behind is that you sort of lose the functionality of that pivot arm. Um, you've got to take that board out first in order to allow the pivot to swing open. So I may change it in the future and put the rack on another um, hitch bar so I can mount it in front of the spare tire. But um, I'm going to try it out um, for this year's trip and you know see how I like it. I don't think it'll be uh, too big of a deal. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Um, I've got uh, my next video coming out will be on the water system that I have in the Jeep. So hopefully I'll have that up in the next week or two. Um, stay safe and I'll see you next time.